For people in southern Putnam County, loud noises in the sky this past weekend literally rocked their world and not in a good way. Guys, what is going on? Strange sounds are being heard around the world. Have you ever thought of the fulfillment of any biblical prophecy happening right before your eyes? How would you react? Imagine you heard a sudden booming echo that seemed to descend from the heavens. Yes, this is what people in southern Putnam County have been experiencing this past weekend. Also, residents of North St. Louis County have claimed to hear strange noises from the sky, but have not been able to determine the source of the noise. Apart from being inexplicable and sparking curiosity in the scientific community, these strange sounds have left indelible prints of fear in people grappling with its significance and possible implications. But what are these sounds? And where exactly are they coming from? Or are these the fulfillment of biblical prophecy concerning the end of the age? Join us in this video as we unravel the mysteries behind these strange sounds. The terrifying sounds from the sky are described as a mix of deep rumblings, metallic screeching, and haunting wails. Witnesses worldwide have reported hearing them, often occurring without any apparent source. The widespread nature of these sounds has raised concerns and speculation about their origins and meaning. Residents northeast of Oklahoma City are saying a loud, shrill noise is keeping them up at night. And the crazy part, no one knows exactly what it is or where it's coming from. People from different countries have reported hearing them, leading to a global discussion on social media platforms, news outlets, and online forums. These strange sounds are said to send cold shivers down people's spines. Some believe they could be signs of something big, maybe even the world's end. Consequently, the Bible discusses future events, including what will happen before Jesus returns. Still, people wonder if the Bible mentions powerful countries like the United States and what will happen to them. By studying the Bible and history, we can find clues, and it's not just about facts. It helps us understand God's promises and prepare for the future. So before we explore these strange phenomena happening around the world, their potential meanings and possible implications, let's examine the Bible's stance on the signs of end times and biblical prophecies concerning the apocalypse and the second coming of Christ. Get ready to experience the extraordinary. Is there a connection between what is happening now and biblical prophecies about the end of the age? Or is it a natural phenomenon? One of the most prominent references to celestial sounds in the apocalypse context is the book of Revelation, attributed to the Apostle John. In Revelation 8, 1, 6, John describes the opening of the seventh seal, which unleashes a profound silence in heaven for about half an hour. This silence is then followed by the introduction of seven angels, who are given seven trumpets, Revelation 8, 6 states, Then the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to sound them. These trumpet blasts serve as a precursor to various judgments and cataclysmic events that unfold upon the earth. The imagery of trumpets sounding from heaven is reminiscent of Old Testament accounts, particularly those found in Exodus, where the trumpet accompanies the manifestation of God's presence and divine intervention. Also, in Revelation 11:15. 19. The sounding of the seventh trumpet marks a pivotal moment in the apocalyptic narrative. This passage heralds the culmination of God's plan for redemption and judgment, signaling the imminent return of Jesus Christ and the establishment of God's kingdom on earth. This momentous event is accompanied by celestial phenomena, including thunder, lightning, and an earthquake, bringing to the fore the magnitude and significance of the occasion. The sounding of the seventh trumpet represents the climax of God's redemptive purposes, culminating in the defeat of evil and the triumph of righteousness. But that's not all. Interestingly, in addition to trumpet blasts, the New Testament also speaks of the archangel's voice as a sign associated with the second coming of Christ and the end of the age. In 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17, the Apostle Paul describes the future return of Jesus Christ with the sound of the trumpet of God and the voice of the archangel. This passage, often called the rapture passage, describes the resurrection of believers and their gathering together with Christ at his second coming. 
The Archangel's voice serves as a herald of this momentous event, signaling the fulfillment of God's promises and the ultimate redemption of His people. What's more, the concept of sounds from heaven as signs associated with the apocalypse or the second coming of Christ and the end times is a recurring theme in biblical prophecy. From the trumpet blasts of Revelation to the voice of the archangel heralding the return of Jesus, these celestial phenomena serve as reminders of God's sovereignty and the ultimate fulfillment of His purposes in history. As believers await the fulfillment of these prophecies, they are called to watchfulness, faithfulness, and readiness for the coming of the Lord. It is also believed that God will use supernatural signs in the heavens to signal the beginning of His intervention to punish humanity for our sins and rescue us from self-destruction. Could these strange happenings in the sky be a sign in heaven for the world? But what are these signs in heaven, according to the scriptures, pointing to the end of our lives? Are we really in the last days, and is the world about to end? This is the moment you've been waiting for to find out. Like, if you came back now, it'd be great. Like, Jesus, if you're thinking about coming back... Right now? Now's a good time. Yeah, pretty soon, yeah. Now's a good time. Well, there's a lot of people that think that that might be coming. So, in the Bible, through the prophet Joel, God spoke of astonishing signs in the heavens before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. God gave this message to Joel for those living in the last days. I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. The prophet Isaiah also described these same events when he said that the stars of heaven and their constellations will not give their light. The sun will be darkened in its going forth, and the moon will not cause its light to shine. Interestingly, the prophecies of Joel and Isaiah match the events described by the Apostle John in a vision of the end time where he said, I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as a sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood. And the stars of heaven fell to the earth, as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it was rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. When this sixth seal is opened, and these heavenly signs are revealed, it will dramatically affect those who see them. God will orchestrate these signs in the heavens to announce that He will now intervene in human affairs. So, drawing parallels to biblical tales of divine judgment, such as Noah's story. There is a palpable sense of urgency among the faithful, urging others to repent and prepare for what may lie ahead. This sense of urgency is not confined to any particular religious denomination. It transcends boundaries, uniting believers from diverse faiths in a shared sense of apprehension and anticipation. Leaders within religious communities have seized upon these phenomena as opportunities to reaffirm their teachings and rally their followers towards spiritual awakening. Sermons echo with calls to heed the signs of the times and turn towards God in repentance, lest they be caught unprepared when the final reckoning arrives. The parallels to biblical prophecy are striking, with many believers drawing connections between these modern-day phenomena and the apocalyptic events foretold in Scripture. From the book of Revelation to the words of Jesus, a wealth of passages speak directly to the current state of affairs, fueling speculation and interpretation among the faithful. But what of those who do not subscribe to religious beliefs? For them, the sounds remain a mystery, a puzzle to be solved by science rather than faith. Yet even among skeptics, there is a sense of unease, a recognition that these phenomena defy conventional explanation and hint at mysteries yet to be uncovered. Consequently, Scientists and researchers have offered various theories to explain the strange sounds ranging from atmospheric disturbances to electromagnetic interference. Yet, these explanations need to fully account for the scale and complexity of the phenomena, leaving many questions unanswered and fueling further speculation. However, amid this uncertainty, one thing remains clear. The resounding echoes of the apocalypse serve as a wake-up call for humanity, a reminder of our collective vulnerability and mortality. Whether viewed through the lens of religious prophecy or scientific inquiry, these phenomena compel us to confront our deepest fears and contemplate the fragility of our existence. 
In times of crisis, seeking solace and meaning in the face of uncertainty is natural. For believers, this may take the form of prayer and repentance as they turn towards their faith for guidance and reassurance. For others, it may involve a search for answers, a quest to understand the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. Ultimately, the significance of these phenomena lies not just in their cause but in their impact on the human psyche. They force us to confront our mortality, to grapple with questions of meaning and purpose, and to consider the possibility of a future beyond our comprehension. As we gaze upon the night sky, listening to the distant echoes of the unknown, may we find the courage to seek truth, embrace hope, and stand united in the face of whatever may come. In the resounding echoes of the apocalypse, there lies a message. A call to repentance, a plea for understanding, and a reminder of the enduring power of faith in times of uncertainty. Now, here's an unbelievable twist. When these signs in the heavens and the earth occur, Scientists and weather forecasters may attempt to explain them away as extreme, cyclical events rather than signs from God. To be sure, Bible prophecy clearly shows God will be their author. It is, however, hard to imagine. Still, many unconcerned people are likely to dismiss these signs as random occurrences. But those watching and praying will discern the reason for the signs. It might interest you to know that the ancient languages of the Bible didn't have the modern scientific definitions we give to atmospheric conditions today. Imagine that God speaks of the sun, moon, and stars being darkened, which has happened at various times on more minor scales. A dense, dark cloud of smoke can block light to the earth over an area of land. For instance, in June 1991, the second largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century, in terms of the amount of material spewed out, took place on the island of Luzon, in the Philippines. The volume of ash emitted from the June 15th peak eruption was about 1.2 cubic miles, 5 cubic kilometers. The giant umbrella-shaped eruption cloud was 250 miles, 400 kilometers, in diameter and 21 miles, 34 kilometers high. By mid-afternoon, areas around the volcano were pitch dark, Mount Pinatubo is just one in a series of more than 450 volcanoes along the ring of fire circling the Pacific Ocean. A series of simultaneous volcanic eruptions could shut out sunlight for some time across large portions of the Earth. However, these celestial events that align with biblical prophecies have sparked curiosity in many to know whether events like this, including the April 8, 2024 eclipse, are a possible sign or potential warning that the end is fast approaching. But could this be true? Prepare to have your mind blown by this truth. But what is the interconnectedness between eclipses and the sign of the end of age in religious texts, particularly that of April 8, 2024? Do these celestial events have spiritual meanings? Eclipses have long captured the imagination of humanity, often seen as potent symbols with spiritual and prophetic significance. Throughout history, Various cultures have interpreted eclipses as omens, signs of divine intervention, or precursors of significant events. A total solar eclipse is happening on April 8th, 2024. And according to the scientists at NASA, not only is it a unique experience, it's also a learning opportunity. In the context of discussions surrounding the April 8th, 2024 eclipse, which is anticipated to be a total solar eclipse visible in certain parts of the world, Viewers may speculate about its potential spiritual or prophetic meanings, particularly in relation to eschatological themes such as the end times, the end of the age, or the coming of Christ. In many religious traditions, celestial phenomena are interpreted through a spiritual lens, and eclipses are no exception. For Christians, the Bible is a primary source for understanding the relationship between celestial events and spiritual significance. Several passages in the Bible link to cosmic disturbances and their implications for humanity's future, including eschatological events associated with the end times. One of the most frequently cited passages concerning celestial signs is found in the New Testament, specifically in the Gospel of Matthew. In Matthew 24, 29, 31, 
Jesus speaks about the signs of his second coming, saying, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Significantly, this passage suggests that cosmic disturbances, such as the darkening of the sun and the moon, will precede the return of Christ and the culmination of human history. The imagery of the sun and moon being darkened during these eschatological events has led some interpreters to associate solar and lunar eclipses with fulfilling biblical prophecy. There's more. Similarly, the book of Revelation, the final book of the New Testament, contains explicit apocalyptic imagery that includes references to celestial phenomena. Revelation 6, 12, 14 describes a series of cosmic disturbances. Again, these verses depict cataclysmic events involving the sun, moon, and stars, which some interpreters associate with eclipses and other celestial phenomena. The language of Revelation is highly symbolic, and scholars offer various interpretations of its meaning. Still, many agree that it points to a cosmic uproar that accompanies the end of the age. Also, beyond the New Testament, the Old Testament contains passages that speak to the significance of celestial events in a prophetic context. For example, in the book of Joel, a famous passage is often cited in discussions of apocalyptic themes. Joel 2.30, 31. This passage suggests that celestial phenomena such as the darkening of the sun and the turning of the moon to blood will precede the day of the Lord, a time of divine judgment and redemption. The language used here is similar to that found in the New Testament passages about the signs of the end times, reinforcing the idea that eclipses and other cosmic events hold spiritual significance in the prophetic imagination. For another example, a passage such as Matthew 24, 39, the stars will fall from heaven, could describe any number of deep space objects plummeting to the earth rather than actual stars colliding with the earth. Meteorites, comets, and asteroids are among the objects that could collide with Earth's atmosphere, causing the appearance of a shower of falling stars. Astronomers estimate that between 18,000 and 84,000 meteorites, 10 grams or more, significantly impact the Earth's surface yearly. But suppose the heavenly signs to come are caused by natural laws of physics. In that case, God will orchestrate these events in an extreme and stunning display. If these wonders are supernatural, God can alter the courses of the heavenly bodies and the natural elements from the norm. But what if I tell you that in addition to biblical passages, interpretations of eclipses in a spiritual or prophetic context may also draw upon other religious texts, traditions, and cultural beliefs. For example, in Islamic eschatology, there are references to celestial signs that precede the Day of Judgment, also known as the Hour, or Yom al qiyamah these signs are mentioned in various hadiths, sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, and Islamic texts, serving as indicators of the approaching end of the world. One significant celestial sign in Islamic eschatology is the reversal of the sun's direction of rising. It is prophesied that before the Day of Judgment, the sun will rise from the west instead of its usual eastward direction. This event is considered a significant warning of the impending end times. According to Islamic tradition, Another cosmic event preceding the end times is the splitting of the moon. This event is mentioned in a hadith where the Prophet Muhammad reportedly performed a miracle, splitting the moon into two halves. While this incident occurred during the Prophet's lifetime as a miraculous sign of his prophethood, it is also interpreted as a foreshadowing of a similar cosmic event preceding the end times. More so, Islamic eschatology also foretells the darkening of the sun and moon as signs of the Day of Judgment. This cosmic phenomenon is described as a partial eclipse or a complete obscuration of these celestial bodies, symbolizing the disruption of the natural order and the onset of divine judgment. These celestial signs are believed to usher in the arrival of the Day of Judgment in Islamic eschatology. 
signaling the end of human history and the beginning of the afterlife. Similarly, ancient cultures such as the Maya and the Aztecs attributed profound spiritual significance to eclipses, often associating them with divine messages or the actions of celestial deities. I bet you didn't see that coming. Coming back to this video, the recent phenomenon has also remained unexplained, giving rise to a plethora of theories, each more intriguing than the last. Despite all efforts to find the source of this strange sound, it has remained a mystery that has birthed so many theories from the mundane to the esoteric. One Dr. Glenn McPherson, a dedicated researcher of these mysterious sounds, has proposed many theories. One of such theories suggests low-frequency radio waves as the culprit. However, despite many theories, the sound's true origin still needs to be discovered. Each theory holds its own allure, yet none provides a definite answer. So, while the sound in North St. Louis County continues to baffle the world, it is not an isolated incident because mysterious sounds have been reported across the globe, from Canada to New Zealand, from the UK to the US. But what do you think is behind these bone-chilling sounds? Are we facing a spiritual battle, witnessing a natural wonder, or simply interpreting random sound patterns as something more due to our innate fear of the unknown? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section. We'd love to know what you think about this strange phenomenon. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more. And subscribe.